Hey everybody, Ed Homewood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today should be a fun little video. I found this cool little product. It is the Duke T13 Phono Preamp, and it actually is really good. So sit back, relax, and we're gonna do a quick overview and a short take on this one. Old Guy Hi-Fi, we tune in. Wisdom lives in every spin. Vintage soundtracks guide the way. Golden moments, day by day, by day. So the Duke Audio T13 is a fun little $110 moving magnet phono preamp with VU meters that you can change the colors on, which I just love. It's very entertaining. Now, I mean, the numbers that the meters are giving you are kind of useless. They really don't mean anything. But the interesting thing is they're actually controlled by what's called an AGC circuit, an automatic gain control. So for very low level signals, the needle's still going to move. For very high level signals, it's not going to cause the, the needle to peak out. So there's always something going on. And it's just fun as I'll get out. It is very, very nice. It's got a line input. I'll show you the back on it. It is fully RIAA equalized. It will accommodate moving magnet cartridges. And I use not only the um, Audio-Technica 1895SE on the TEC TN3B back here, but I also used my ATVM 540ML cartridge on it, and it did really good. This thing sounds quite remarkable for the money. I was really pleased. Um, it is, again, uh, it's got a headphone amp built into it. It's rated at 250 milliwatts at 32 ohms and 60 milliwatts at 128 ohms. It's not really anything you want to use. Let me show you the back real quick. On the front is an input selector for line level or phono. Let's flip it around. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is it does not come with a USB power supply, but it, you need to use at least a 2 amp, 5 volt, 2 amp USB power supply, or this won't have enough juice to pull in those really faint signals from the moving magnet cartridge. So remember, it doesn't come with one, but you need a two amp, five volt uh, wall wart. Now on the backside, it's very, very simple. Has a headphone jack with a separate volume control. I'm not sure why it needs that. Line out to your amplifier, line in, line level in. So if you wanted to plug a DAC into it or whatever, you could use this as a switcher. It's not a preamp though. And then of course your phono input with ground and then the fun knob that changes the color of the meters. So I test it with a lot of stuff, and I'll be honest with you, I, when I put my the ATVM 540ML cartridge in it, that's a $300 cartridge, I pulled out my Mobile Fidelity Ultra Disc Miles Davis Kind of Blue Mac Daddy Audio Recording 45, and it sounded great through this thing. I was really surprised. I would say that on moving magnet, this sounds equal to uh, a shit Manny. Um, I would say equal to an iFi Zen Phono, either the $99 one or even the $199 one, which I've heard. I would put this up against any moving magnet phono preamp, upwards of 200 bucks. It really sounded that good. I played a lot of different stuff through it, and I never thought for one second that I was missing something or wasn't delivering on the sound, and it wasn't delivering on its promise. It really does a very, very good job. Um, I enjoyed my time with it. I'm just, this is kind of a quick take on this thing. Um, it's going back in the system. I'm going to use it again. I was using it with the Galleon TS120SE amp and the TAC TN3B turntable, spinning a lot of vinyl, and it sounded really good. And the view meters were kind of fun. <laughs> I have to admit that. Anyway, so that's the uh, Duke Audio T13 Phono Preamp, 110 bucks. Nice piece. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're willing to give me a like and, and to subscribe to the channel. We just hit 8,000 subscribers today when I'm filming this. Thank you guys so much. So if you want to support the channel, there's a thank you button at the bottom of the video window. If you'd like to join the channel, there's a membership link in the pinned comment and in the video description, along with Amazon affiliate links for this and other equipment. My playlists are in there. Um, please continue to send playlists. You guys have done a great job with that. We've got some wonderful playlists in the community post. I encourage you to go visit it. Comment. Let me know what you think. Are you guys are you looking to get into vinyl? Are you looking to get back into vinyl? Are you looking to improve your vinyl? Do you have a turntable that's using a built-in phono preamp that's kind of... Mm, so, so, I mean, it gets the job done, but it doesn't have any fidelity. This really does. Let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that. I think I've covered everything. This is fun. I had a great time with it. And I just, I really like the view meters, honestly, too. And it sounded great. Anyway, 
My name's Ed Homewood. This is the Old Guy Hi-Fi channel. Hopefully you'll like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram. It's now your time to go pull out a record, clean it really good, put it on your turntable, and maybe listen to it through a fun little phono preamp with VU meters like this device. Thanks so much for your time. I'm grateful for it. Have a wonderful day.